In this tutorial, we are going to tackle integration by part. We've tackled many aspects of integration, a situation where we have integral of f of x prime on f of x dx. We've tackled this in one episode. We've also seen integral of f of x multiplying its derivative dx. What if the integral is a product but it's not obeying this rule? Are we okay? What if we have a product where integral of let's say x sine x the derivative of x is not sine x and the derivative of sine x is not x. What do we do? So in such cases, we use the approach we call integration by parts. And how do we go by it? Let's derive it from the first principle. So we know that let's assume if y is equal to uv, a function such that y is equal to uv from differentiation if we are going to differentiate this using the product rule i will say my dy dx is going to be i maintain one of the u and now differentiate the v so dv with respect to what x plus i now maintain the v then differentiate the u with respect to what x this is from differentiation is that true yes and meaning if we are differentiating this which is the dy dx it is the same as the derivative of all this function which is the same thing as derivative dx of this whole function uv because y is equal to uv equal to we are trying to prove a formula for integration by parts and I'll still maintain this my u dv dx plus my v du on what dx. Okay, so now I am going to integrate, not differentiation. So if I want to integrate, then I can integrate each part of the equation and get my answer. Is that right? Yes, yeah, so I'll apply the integration sign here, apply integration, then apply integration with respect to what? Remember, if I'm going to integrate with respect to another dx, here will be with respect to another dx, here will be with respect to what? dx. Is that true? All right. So, if I'm integrating, what am I going to get? This part is going to be my uv, which is equal to this whole of that. Remember, this. the reason I'm getting uv is that it is the function integral of what y which will give me the entire what function so uv which is equal to now i have integral of u dv dx by integration with respect to a dx plus the whole of this integral of v du dx by integration with respect to what x we now have this and with this what can we start doing we can make u dv dx the subject that's what we are trying to achieve it's a formula and we are trying to prove the formula so trying to make integral of u dv dx the subject i'm going to get it this way i'll send this back and i'm getting integral of u dv dx by dx should be equal to if you are making it the subject going to be uv minus integral of v du dx by dx is that true all right so if the dx is taking care of the other dx then we are going to get integral of u which is dv equal to uv minus integral of u which is v so integral of v this is integral of v integral of v du the dx is out so this is now the original formula for integration by parts pay attention this is the 
formula for the integration by parts integral of u dv is equal to u v minus integral of v du how do we work with this in a situation where we are given a particular question for example if i'm having integral of x sine x from this equation what is saying is that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so i will choose my parameters based on the right hand side then solve the question based on the left hand side please pay attention we choose the parameters that's my u my v from the left hand side then solve the equation this with the right hand side so in this cases there are most of questions that we have to pay attention for example this is x sine x we also have a different aspect of question which is let's say x square integral let's say e to x you have integral x ln x how do i make the correct choice of my u and my what dv are we good so there are rules governing it or rules that will help you make a better choice not all parameters should be chosen at random because you get stuck or you may find it difficult solving in this episode we are trying to only cover the theory and we'll solve more examples in the subsequent episode so now we know we know the formula for integration by what part to be integral of u dv equal to u v minus integral v du this is the formula and if i have the question i'm going to choose my parameters based on the left hand side then solve the question with the right hand side it's very important it's very important and it's a secret you have to know to be able to help you solve questions easily let's look at some helpful tips that will help us choose our parameters in product or when a question is given let's say some notes if a question is given and one of the product is polynomial and the other is a log function a log function then you have to make the polynomial your v and you have to make the log function your u for example if i have questions like integral of x square then len x in such cases i'm going to choose my v to be the polynomial and my log function to be the u are we okay all right so that's the first condition second if you are having product where one is polynomial and the other is a trig function a trig function make the polynomial your u then the trig function your v are we okay for example integral of x sine 3x so this will help you the third is when you have a polynomial and you also have an exponential function exponential then you choose your u to be the polynomial then you make the exponential your v so questions like integral of x square which is the polynomial then e 2x let's say dx they are all attached with what dx then dx this will make a good example this will help you to what to solve let's see how we choose our u and the v pay attention this is the equation we are going to choose based on the left hand side the u you just have to obey any of these rules to choose your u based on the left hand side so for example for the first one if i'm choosing my u i'll just say u will be equal to if there is a polynomial and a log function the u should be the log function so my u is going to be len x and my v but look at on the left hand side that i'm choosing with i don't have a v i have a dv right i have a dv which is 
the polynomial is going to be x square that but when i'm going to solve with the right hand side i'm not going to use the v i'm going to use original v so if you have the v and you want to get v out of it meaning this is the derivative you have to apply another integral sign on both sides such that the integration of the v will give you v and the integral of this will give you one on three s cube so now when you are coming to solve with the right hand side your v is going to be one third s cube are we okay one third s cube that we are going to use to what so so i have my u chosen here i have my v from the dv that i chose here so the v is now obtained i have v do i have the u no before i get the u i have to also differentiate this is that true if i differentiate the u let's say the u with respect to what x i'm going if you differentiate this you are going to get one over what x and this is u so if you make u the subject the u the subject you are going to get the x on what x and you bring the du also back into the equation i'm guiding you on how to choose your parameters because it's very necessary are we okay let's look at the second equation so the second point if i'm having integral of let's say x sine 3x and i want to choose what do i do so now i want to choose my u and from the rules that i wrote if you want to choose u which of them is going to be your u that is the polynomial right yes so if the polynomial is going to be your u then my u is already obtained as the x and my v is going to be the trig function but here choosing from the left hand side is the v instead so meaning my dv now is going to be what sine 3x i'm going to solve with the right hand side there is no dv there is original v meaning integral integral meaning the v is going to be integral of sine 3x integral of sine what 3x and if you are going to find the integral of sine 3x what are you going to get yes negative 1 on 3 cos 3x as that are we okay so once you have this you can now bring it in you have your u chosen the v obtained v here the u now you can differentiate the u again the u with respect to what x and that will be one therefore the u is equal to a dx so in place of the u you are going to bring what dx and that's what very simple so this is all about the product approach of what integration using the path is that okay so we'll try to solve one example but most of the examples is going to be in the next episode so let's take this example and find out how best we can solve it so integral of x square then ln x dx so this is a product where we are going to integrate the derivative of x square is never ln x and that of ln x is never s square so our case studies cannot work here we have to only use integration by what parts then quickly i can write my formula as the integral of u which is dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du here i'm going to choose my parameters it is in terms of a polynomial and a log function so i will let my u so let u be my what log function that's ln x would i need a certain du yes so i have to differentiate du with respect to what dx when you differentiate this you are going to get one on x making du the subject i'm getting dx on x is that right yes we are getting du on dx now from the left hand side my dv is going to be the 
polynomial which is x square so x square in order to obtain original v i bring my integral so v now is going to be what the integral of this is going to be one third s cube it's quite interesting but you have to take your time and know how best you are going to do it so i now have my u i have my v and i have my du also so i can do the substitution so this function is going to be so integral of x square ln x dx is going to be we solve with the right hand side my u which is giving us ln x so i have ln x multiplying my v one third s cube minus integral of v now my v is still one third s cube then du du is now the x on x so we are solving if i'm to rearrange here i'm going to get one third s cube ln x to be in a better position negative this one third a constant i can bring it out integral s cube one of this will take care of that so i'm going to get x square what dx is that okay yes so i'm going to get one third s cube ln of x negative one third so the integral of x square again is going to give me what that's going to be one third s cube right so here i have integrated x square so i can bring my plus c i'm going to get one third s cube ln x this is going to be six negative nine s cube plus c so this is the solution for the integral of x square ln x dx are you okay it's very simple so someone will say here i got integral of v which is the same as integral of what x square and you got the same thing so you can just bring it here once you are seeing integral of what x square but i use the approach know how to select your u know how to select your dv to obtain your v from it it's very necessary if you choose your u in complicated ways your answer is going to be very difficult for you to obtain